So what does it mean to be a brokey? Or what does it mean to be broke? To me, broke doesn't mean um, broke in the bank. Because you can be broke in the bank, but you're, you don't have a broke mindset, right? That's really what it is. Because I've had most of my life and most of my time, I was broke, right? I only just started getting this music thing really figured out. But for the first 13 years of music, I was pretty much flatlined at zero with money. So, but my mindset, you know, obviously I can always improve, but my mindset wasn't bad. And so I think there's a few things that it comes down to with like having the right tools and mindset to actually make it really in anything, but specifically with music. If you're the type of person who blames other people, like if you're broke in the bank account, which I was many times, I never blamed anybody else. It was always my fault. The reason I was broke was because of me. I never blamed like, oh, it's somebody else's fault or uh, it's the government's fault or uh, 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 whatever. It's my job's fault. I don't know, whatever it was. It's never that. It was always me. It's like, okay, if I'm broke, it's my fault. If I'm not where I want to be in my life, it's my fucking fault, right? I'm not making excuses. And the other thing too is I've, I've noticed that sometimes there's people with these broke mindsets and one of the things is they procrastinate. They push things back they're like oh like i'll be honest i get on calls with artists who are inquiring about enrolling in my music academy which is i teach songwriters with full-time jobs how to become their own music producers in 90 days the biggest problem i'm seeing happen now is i get on calls with people who are not that serious like i, I don't know why or how we're even getting them on the calendar but like i'm getting on calls with artists and they're not really serious about music and they're like they're literally just on the call with me just to get information which is fine i guess but really you should be on the call to get a result you know it's like people get on these calls and like oh like maybe in a few weeks or a few months is when i'm serious about music it's like dude don't waste your own time even getting on a call with me like don't waste your time let alone mine you know i i really I really want to be getting on calls with people who are actually serious about music. And the truth is I'm making this video because I've just today had like two or three calls in a row where they weren't serious about music and they really just wanted to like, I actually don't even know why they got on the call to be honest. I think they just wanted to pick my brain or network or whatever. Or they just wanted to gather information. I guess that's fair, but it's a waste of your time. It's a waste of mine. And I think that really, to be honest with you, kind of dials down to a broke mindset like if you're just like not really the type of person who's an action taker like i think really that's that's probably the biggest thing that plays the role is are you an action taker or not you know and if you're not an action taker that's fine but realize that that's what your life's gonna your life is gonna result in things not happening and then you're gonna you can't just go and blame other people for it so to me, the biggest difference maker between people who end up becoming successful with music and people who don't is, do you blame other people or do you take responsibility and do you take action or do you procrastinate? And like, it's as simple as like, did you take action today? And I think the, the, the last kind of point I'll make to wrap it up is stop giving yourself too much credit. Like I, I see a lot of people give themselves way too much credit in the name of mental health. You know what I mean? Like people are too nice to themselves in the name of mental health. I see also other people who are too hard on themselves. That's where I fit in. I'm way too hard on myself. But I'll tell you something. It's easier to come back from the too hard on yourself because I lived most of my life too hard on myself and I've now come back more toward the middle and I'm more in the middle of like, I know how to give myself credit and I know how to push myself. I lean a little more toward the be hard on myself. So I take action, I take ownership. I'm a little too hard on myself, but not too much. You know, I'm able to still give myself credit. So those are really the three things, you know, I mean, God, there's so many fucking things, but those are three main things that I can say that would really make a difference between, are you gonna make it with your music or not?